Superb Lady 08. Now I'm here with what will, ho what will hopefully be a, a brief um, update video. Now it's about a few things. It's about things that have, I've had going on and about things that I've actually got planned that are coming up. Now as some of you may know if you follow me on Twitter or if you have me on Facebook or if you have TLZ online or Neon Sam um, on on YouTube, you may already be aware of this. Um, this this week is the World Asthma Week. Um, it started on the first of May and will end this Sunday, which I believe is the eighth of May. Yeah, the eighth of May. This week is all about ex um, sharing your views of dealing with asthma because it is. Well, it's been classed, it's previously been classed as not as a serious condition when it actually is. Um, three people die, oh no, I think it's more than that, I think it's, I think that thing is just, it's where three people die every hour of, all over the world um, from asthma related attacks or anything that has been brought on by asthma or allergies because allergies are a very big thing to do with asthma. So, what would what ask me UK and also the A the AAFA um, the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. Yeah, that's right. Um, are trying to they're trying to raise awareness of this and this is what World Asthma Week and World Asthma Day, which was Tuesday the third of May, is all about. It's about sharing your views and making sure that young people well, actually, no, not even people, anyone that suffers from asthma, whether they've been diagnosed it for years or they've only just been diagnosed, um, to know they're not alone because asthma can be a very, very scary condition, especially if you get into an attack and you're not able to, if you're too scared of what's going to happen, um, to actually help treat yourself. It's all about knowing that you're not alone, that there are other people out there who know what you're going through on a daily basis. That's what it is. It's, Asthma is a day-to-day -day thing, as in one day you might be fine, next day you could be in a real bad asthma attack and be in rushed hospital. That is the severity of the condition. So I have been a volunteer for Asthma UK for about three years now. Um, no, about four years now I think, since I was about 17 and I have been doing work for them. Um, I have done, I did two interviews. Um, this week to try and publicise this week um, to get people to share their views. One on what the radio show was formerly called the Ken and Roger show, but now I guess it's just the Ken show and it's been featured in Monk. I don't know. <laughs> if I'm wrong about that, guys, and one of you see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really know what you're calling it at the moment, so I apologise. Um, but either way, <laughs> I did it. I did an interview for them. I asked the Monk or Monk or whatever he wants to be called either way, it's, it's called Monk, um, if he could mention the fact that this week was World Asthma Week and if he could mention about people going to the websites and sharing the views. But he was lovely enough to allow me to come on and tell me, tell the, the listeners myself. And he was also, as long as the World Asthma stuff was actually mentioned, he wanted to actually interview me about my channel and about any future you know, plans to do with any voice acting and stuff like that, which he was lovely to do. Um, um, since I did TMO Idol, um, that he was actually, I think he, well, I'm not a judge of, I was to say he was a running, um, I think it's just been something that's been inevitable. But again, if you're watching this mug, thank you um, for letting me do that. And as soon as, because the interview hasn't, oh no, the show hasn't put on the website yet um, for for TM Underground, but as soon as it does, I will put it a link in the description and I'll put a little annotation to say it's there. So if you're watching it at a future date um, and it's actually there, you'll know that it's not something that you're going to be waiting for. Um, so that was the first one, and then on actual World Asthma Day on Tuesday the 3rd, I did an interview for a regional radio station which was BBC Radio Leeds because I do live, because I, as I keep saying, I've, um, I'm a volunteer for Ask Me UK, so obviously I live in UK. 
so I'd be, I did an interview for them, it w wasn't as long as the one I did for Ken and Monk, but it was substantial enough. Um, the interview is still there, Thank, um, ke thanks for, to my darling boyfriend Apple84 who actually informed me that yes, they did record it and yes there is a link, which I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of that at all, I didn't realise that regional radio sessions did that. But they did, and I, I'll put the link in the description along with the time that the interview is actually at. Um, I think it's around 1 hour 53, 1 hour 54, but I will double check that and I'll put that with the link. Okay, next subject. Um, Sonic Month, which is no, which is June, which will be Sonic's 20th anniversary? Yeah, 20th anniversary. Um, Last year I did a cover of It Doesn't Matter for, to go along with um, my, well, sort of online brother, um, Silver Dude 500 month that he was doing with streams. This year I do have a few things planned um, along with, because there was two two songs that were recorded last year, It Doesn't Matter, and there was another one that, um, that was actually, it was... It was a song that was used for another game. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say exactly what it is because it's a little kept a surprise away. It. it was a song that was used as a theme or the closing credits of one particular game. But um, Silver Dude actually rewrote the lyrics to you know make sense with with Sonic. Which I did record that. I recorded that way in advance last year and it just got forgotten about. So I'm gonna do re-record that because so obviously use the old one. It's not gonna be, just speaking, right? So I'm gonna re-record that, and I, and I said I've got, um, I've got, I've got another idea of what to do, and also I have a duet which has been planned for a while with um, the lovely Neon Sam of TLC Online, of TLC Online, which hopefully we'll be able to get done. Um, we're, we're gonna do well, what's been planned is a cover of it. Yeah, open your hat, brush bought it. We're gonna do a couple of that and sort of change it from how it is to kind of a singing and changing part of it to rapping for the neon. Um, rapping slash singing, but we'll see how it works out. But so all together there should be three songs going up for Sonic Um but also the my if I c I've been this is uh, brings me to another point. I have actually wanted to start doing Let's Plays. Um, I have been trying to set up, because the only console I have is um, is in front of PSP. And I know there is a way to get it on screen and then you can record um, the footage. I'm still trying to work for a few things and get that done. Um, I've been um, actually asking for your help. I know that one person has done it before. Um, but I'm not going to say who it is, just in case I'm wrong, I've just heard it from somebody else that they could have done it from PSP, but I'm not sure. Um, I have been using the programs um, Remote Joy to try and to actually use to get the PSP screen onto my laptop, um, onto my laptop um, desktop. Um, I'm having problems with that. And I'm also looking to find out if anyone knows any good screen recorders that I could use as soon as I have the remote drive set up and sorted um, and you could screen record so I can actually record the footage. I do have Camtasia um, that I am thinking about trying to use um, but I might not be able to record it on my laptop might be on the PC because otherwise I end up be jumping about. But that's what I'm trying to do. It's mainly if you've got any experience with remote drive and PSP, please let me know if you how you did it and you know if you can talk me through how to set it up I would very much appreciate it because it's just been sort of been annoying me <laughs> beyond um, beyond the recognition for the last few days as um, a few people actually know how much it's been annoying me and I've been hitting the balls of it. But yeah, if I can get it sorted, my first um type of let's play thing will be to do with the Sonic Mode that I have well I have the um, the Sega Mega Drive PSP for PSP, sorry. Um, and 
I am thinking about doing uh, at least a few levels, if not, well, I, won't, I won't end up doing all again <laughs> because I won't be able to do that. But I'm thinking about doing a few, uh, a few things out of um, Sonic One, uh, maybe just, just a few of the levels, um, like the Green Hill Zone and stuff like that, and see how that goes and have that as a test for like for Let's Play and also to the contribution to Sonic. Oh, also, um, I did another, as I, I've already got a video with a link to it, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. I did a duet with Neon San um, from um, Tower and Online. Not so long ago, but it's been one that's been in the pipeline for a long, long time. But it finally got uh, recorded and uploaded, and that's actually how Love Song Unleashed. Um, I'll put the link into the description, uh, in the description. Um, you can go check that out if you want. Um, that's like um, me singing on and um, me on rapping. It's not one of my best um, like recordings. I have to admit that, but I tried my best, and I think it turned out okay. Um, Neon liked it, <laughs> and he actually uploaded it to his Tower channel, which I was very much impressed with that. So yeah. Bye.